Greetings, I'm Demonac. Now let's slay the Spire. Alright, we have a deck that started with one of every... Instead of the normal card, it started with one of every rare card for the Silent. Which is pretty interesting. Alright, so we're going to play After Image first, and then do these free card drawing things. Let's see if we can draw Bullet Time. I mean, it's unlikely, but... we um, Prepared... No bullet time. Corpse Explosion, we're going to discard, because that's not very useful right now. And Doppelganger, we're going to discard, because it's not very useful ever. We're going to take a lot of damage this turn. That's unpleasant. Yeah, we've got the five plated armor. If we could just play, maybe if I energy potion, I'd play more things. Slice you. Let's get that poison stab going. So we have plus one poison from the Senko Skull. Phantasmal Killer. We're going to take a little bit of damage from him and then have double damage next turn. I think the energy would be better spent next turn. I actually could have prevented two damage, though. Or, sorry, one damage. If it's close if it's close to one, you just take one with that thing. Enlightenment. Not a lot of card drawing here. I think I'm going to dagger throw him and see if I can draw something better to Enlightenment. No, uh, not really. I mean, the Enlightenment would let me 1,000 cuts for zero. I don't even think that's going to make it... There aren't many enemies. Let's just discard that. Doesn't even matter. This is annoying, though. I'm going to take a pile of damage. To do more poison than doing the... Uh, Still not taking too much through the plated armor, but now he's hitting harder, and we're running out of stuff. Um, backflip would give me a little bit more defense. And then the Crippling Cloud would weaken him, which would make a huge difference, and it's going to poison him a lot. Let's do this and see if we can get anything else that helps. We can do the second after image, but then we can't Crippling Cloud, and I think we need the Crippling Cloud right now to take less damage. And also be killing him. Although, would the, would the glass knife have killed him? Probably. Uh, it's not too late. Um, right now I, I've got ten, so I'm going to take five, which is going to get knocked down to one hit point from the Tori. Do I want to spend one of these potions to... Like, spend the energy potion, which is a really valuable potion, which would let me glass knife him, kill him, and save me one hit point. No, I'll, I'll take one hit points. Fine. Bye. Oh, you're technically not dead. Okay, bullet time. Bullet time punch. Wait for him now. Wait, wait. Okay. Using this up all the time. Noxious fumes is pretty awesome, but I don't know if I need. It. I have a lot of area damage in this deck. All this poison gain stuff, like that would cause poison to be increasing every turn instead of decreasing every turn. Which matters against a boss. This is a tough boss. He also penalizes you for playing powers, though. You know what? I think I'm going to just skip. be nice to get the deck smaller. Falling. Okay, this isn't exactly how I wanted to make it smaller. Um, lose my backflip. My second after image, the non-innate one, which I'm not a million percent sold on. Or lose the slice plus. I feel like this isn't going with my deck's theme very well, but it is still, like, it's often an extra attack and an extra poison for free. I think I'm going to lose the second after image. It wasn't really part of my plan. Probably dumb. Removing cards would be nice. Again, the purity, I'm so tempted, but I don't want to spend on that. You get the Orichalicum. This does stack whenever I this does stack with the plated armor that we have from the format. Way too late for that. That are below fifty percent hit points. Well, my hit points are so low. I, if, if this was something that just gave me max HP, I'd probably buy it. This is probably what I should buy. I don't have. Oh no, because I'm this won't work at all because I'm using the innate thing. Okay, never mind. F that. Uh, I guess we'll just remove a card and probably nothing. Is there, is there even another shop? There are no more shops. This is the last opportunity to spend money. 
Master of Strategy is pretty damn good. One shot draw thing. If I buy this, then I can't remove a card. That's gonna make my this is gonna make my deck seem thinner in a better way anyway. Gain four plated armor. That's an awesome potion. Jeez. Okay, let's buy the master strategy. That's better than removing one card from my deck. Under like almost all circumstances. We could get another backflip, which would be more defense. And it's card drawing, so it's not really making my deck thicker in the same way, but I don't think so. I think we're just going to go with it. Man, that plated armor potion seems really good, though, for helping me not die. This is a shitty potion. Whatever, I can't... Uh, there's going to be no more... There's, unless I get one in a question mark, there's no more use for money anyway. So let's take the essence of plated armor. It is just less damage in some point somewhere. Okay. These guys... If I had the right hand, I could just explode them with area damage. Play the after image first before free card draw. Although that means I can't drag or throw into bullet time. Bullet time is statistically unlikely, though. Uh, actually, I can still energy potion if I got it. So, all right, let's start wailing on the guy who's going to hit us. Bouncing flask. What are you discarding? Oh, screw you, button Hmm. I don't have a lot of defense going on right this second. If I weaken him, he's still going to be doing about 8 or something. No, that, I should be okay after that, after weakening him. I'm going to take maybe, like, I, there's no way I'd take more than the Tori damage, than the Tori can absorb. And it looks like I'm going to take nothing. So I guess that's going to be my turn. That was not an exciting turn. Okay, they're not attacking. He's trying to thorns me now, and he's also doing five counter damage now, which is unpleasant. A uh, thousand cuts, pretty slow. Let's back up. Enlightenment, pretty interesting. I've got an alchemize in my hand too, so I, that could excuse using one of these potions all over that, which is pretty valuable. Well, let's enlightenment. Get that thousand cuts down, I think. Uh, I'm not really taking damage unless I attack him, so I should probably not use a potion. But I, it's such a good potion, but I never want to use them when I got when I've got really good potions, right? So what am I gonna do with that energy potion? I'm gonna like nightmare or something, and it's not super helpful either. It's just in venom. Fine, we're not, we're not taking damage right now. If you get two of them attacking in one turn, it'll start to hurt more. But none of them are attacking in one turn. Okay. Thing is, I need to get some defense first before hitting him. Uh, die, die, die is going to pretty much kill him with the, sli with the other stuff. So let's start slice him to get a little bit of defense up. I think I'm going to go without Wraith form. He's, he's going to hit me for some damage. I mean, the Tori is going to help with that, but I am going to take damage, and it's annoying. The dagger throw and try and get myself something for defense? No, that's not going to help. If I discard this, then it's not going to come. I can't cast the Wraith form now anyway, so I'm going to discard that, because this will erase itself. Then I guess we're going to die, die, die. That gave me the energy and cards from killing those guys. Or from that guy. He'll die when I do the other thing. Take, I'm going to take another... I've got one armor now. Right, I should only need one armor to... Me from, yeah, right? No, I did take some damage there. Boo. Uh, he's going to take the six from poison. I should just let him poison himself. I'm not take any more damage. I don't have any way to draw cards or anything, so whatever, just die. Discard defeat. Deal 14 damage to all enemies and then discard one card at random. That's pretty strong. 
upgraded noxious fumes. Wow, it's really pushing me to take the noxious fumes, which are good. Cloak and dagger would be more defense. I don't think it's strong enough at this stage. 14 damage to all enemies, but discard a card at random. That's the upgraded version. I don't like that either. I, the Noxious Fumes is such a fantastic card that turning it down seems ridiculous. But it's also it's a little bit in the slow department. I need... Ah. It is going to be good for the boss fight, but he does do a reset, though. And he gains strength for power. No, I'm... If worried about the final boss, and I don't think he's going to help me as much against the final boss, and I'm hope I'm gambling that I don't need that so much for not the final boss things. All right, let's uh, back. Actually, we really need the back. We could be doing damage with the dagger throw instead of the backflip, but yeah, same difference. Backflip gets me more cards for the one energy before I bullet time, so we'll do that. Okay, with adrenaline, that means I can after image first and then adrenaline. I don't know why I need to do that, because it doesn't make any difference. Enlightenment, hello. So that means I can actually do other card draw first, because the bullet time is only going to cost one. Yeah, bullet time only costs one. So I can dagger throw him and see what else I get. Ah, oh, now I can bullet time a thousand cuts. Oh, discard, again, the slice. Bullet time! Thousand cuts first for once. Dagger spray. Knives. And step. Okay. Yeah. Frail and weakened. Weakened is not great. And he's hitting me for a lot all of a sudden. I don't have that many hit points. I mean, the Crippling Cloud is going to reduce that somewhat, but I might have to Energy Potion and such to play more cards. Okay, five from there. You know what, let's, let's use the Essence of Plated Steel. So now I'm getting nine extra armor per turn. Then we weaken him. He's hitting us for 18. We've now got a point of armor, at least. And you have to Energy Potion just to, like, get enough Defense to get through that. This is going to do a fair amount of damage over time. So he's hitting for eight, for eighteen. I've got eleven. No, I, I, I'm just going to take full damage. The Tory's not going to kick in, so I'm going to do this. Phantasmal Pillar, so it'll be more next turn. And unload's going to do more than the dagger spray. Now I've got 13, so he's going to hit me for 5, so I should only take 1. Tori! Oh, this is important, because things are rough. Okay, um... Venom might have been good for some of that stuff, but... Yeah, I'm just going to do without. We've got 11 sacks of poison damage. He is... Hit me for, he hit me for two if I was intangible. I'm not going to be intangible, though. Uh, I've, I've got enough plated armor to handle this anyway, so, okay. Let's in, in Venom, just for the future, because, yeah. Oh, we're doing double damage this turn, and I'm not even going to use it, because i got Bouncing Flask. That's kind of sad. I, I didn't have much in the way of attacks to take advantage of it. He's going to power up. I can vulnerabilize him. And I think I want to alchemize. I want to make sure I get this off. But let's, uh, yeah, I don't need to backflip to draw cards. Because I'm not, like, it's not like he's attacking me this turn. Skill potion. Add a random skill to your hand. It costs zero this turn. That is a cool potion. I guess we should master strategy and see what I yeah, what do we get? I'm going to get some of these cards. You know what? That's not going to actually help. I should just leave that alone. Wait, actually, I don't want to draw all that crap next turn, though. That is not a good turn. I'm going to master of strategy just to defuse that next crappy turn. And we're going to prepare. I don't want all that junk. I mean, the wraith form is good and all, but 
In fact, arguably, I should have been trying to wraith form, but no, this is no, this is not helping me that much. I don't think. So then, die, 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 hits him for fourteen. I'm still weakened right now. I may just actually play the tools of the trade. Help me in the future, and let's exhaust this thing so it goes away. So it may have been some weird choices. I don't know, but uh, bullet time, enlightened bullet time. Just a card to discard. I'm going to discard the Enlightenment, because I don't think I'm going to need it with the bullet time. I am going to try and dagger throw... Oh, no. Backflip first. Okay, now I can prepare first before I bullet time. Uh, you are the weakest link. And you're probably the next weakest link, because I'm not going to move on and get discard. He's hitting me for way more damage than I want. If I get plus five strength, is it going to make a difference? This would hit him for 30... No, it's uh, it's actually because he's feeble. It's going to hit him for 40. This is hitting him for 19, so it would be like 25-ish, I guess. I don't know if I can take him out. Whatever, let's try. Instead of doing the math, we're just going to try. That's our plan. Bullet time. Bouncy, bouncy. Doesn't benefit from the vulnerability, but it does hurt him a lot. Okay. It was enough. It now has all the poison. I'm not adding any of these cards to my deck. Nuts to that. Or weak sauce. Um, oh, this actually heals me just for entering the rest site, just because I don't have to make a decision, which I probably would have just chosen to upgrade anyway, because I'm a psychopath. Um, upgrading the wraith form might be good. Thousand cuts. We do get that off right now. Enlightenment does permanently reduce the cost of the cards when it's upgraded, so I want that, actually. That might be sort of engine-esque in the boss fight. Receive two madness and lose four hit points. Uh, become cursed with writhe and heal four hit points. This is innate, so it starts in your hand, so it's not one less card there. But it's not actually doing other bad things. I don't really want two madness in my deck. I got my deck kind of working for this stuff and then making random card cost zero. I don't think that's fitting in, even though I've got all this expensive stuff. I just upgraded the enlightenment, so I shouldn't need that. I've got the bullet times. This cost zero for the rest of combat. Ugh. I don't really want those clogging up my draw. I don't have any use for the healing. This is also clogging my draw. This is clogging my draw forever. This is just too... I guess I gotta take the madness. Ah, so annoying. It's not what I was going for. Okay. Um... We're gonna escape plan... We're not gonna be able to after image and wraith form. We got the plated armor, so the wraith form will be enough. Okay, we're gonna... Do that first. No, then didn't get bullet time, which is the only thing that would have made a difference, really. I guess we're going to wraith for him. And we have to hope to kill them pretty quickly, because it could hurt otherwise. Especially without the after image going. We might regret that. Um, Jeez, this is not the hand that I want. Discard, discard. There, it's only on one guy. Going to Enlightenment, reducing these permanently. Uh, crippling Clouding these guys is pretty good. And if I Corpse Explosion one, they have eight, so it'd be 16 damage to all of them. Just not going to kill them all, and it, it would take the poison off that guy, which is also not super helpful. So instead, we're going to Glass Snife. Can't stop any of them existing, but. Oh, yes, we can. Right. Poison. 
Okay. Um, now we have bullet time. We're going to want a master of strategy and probably backflip first. This card's cost is zero. I don't know if this will do anything after the bullet time. That's kind of annoying. Uh, worry about it later. I want to do all these things. Do backflip and then bullet time. I don't think this is doing anything. I don't think it affects cards that already cost zero. But uh, that's fine. We're going to invent. Oh, I should have a thousand cuts before invent. Whoops. Mostly they're going to get exploded in a sec here. We're going to do this for armor. And we're going to kill you all. Spite. Triggering off things. Dagger throw. Discard this, whatever. It's not going to last that long, then it comes back. And you're already dead from poison, and you're going to be pretty much... Can you do seven counter damage? I'm only hitting for one. You know what? I'm going to hit you instead. I don't want to hit him directly. It's just, I'm just going to let him die. Speaking of which, let him die. All upgraded things. I don't think I need this stuff in my deck. I mean, the outmaneuver could be strong. Man. Upgraded outmaneuver is a bunch more stuff. It's like setting up. I do have still expensive things in here, and I can do more with energy. Got some card drawing, not that much card drawing. An upgraded dagger throws more damage. Do I want to add an outmaneuver? I think I'm going to stick with my 35 cards. I think it's fine. What we got? Unceasing top. That is not going to get much use in this deck. I mean, no, bullet time only affects the cards in your hand, right? Or is it, is it, because, no, you can't draw after your bullet time. That's why. So, yeah, no, it doesn't. That's why it didn't come up. Duh. Do I want to fight an extra fight for an extra relic? Hold on. How many? We've got a campsite right after this. Then another elite. This is kind of like an elite fight. These are two. These are not the most dangerous of those guys, though. It's mostly just him. I think we're going to take it. Well, I know we're going to take it because I pressed the button. Um, okay. After image first, because we've got the zero cost stuff will give us things. Crippling Cloud will reduce this damage a bunch. I mean, we'd really like to draw bullet time. We're going to try and master strategy. Maybe a fool's errand. We're not going to be able to do anything with most of this stuff. Um, so right now we've got seven armor plus the number of cards we play. When we Crippling Cloud him, his damage is going to go down to like 12 or something. It should be manageable. But I'm going to backflip anyway. If we'd drawn the bullet time, it would have been amazing. Speaking of which, if we draw the bullet time, it would be amazing. Ah, hand was too full. Sir, doppelganger, piece of crap. And doesn't matter. We're not, we're not playing most of these cards anyway. We're just going to play Crippling Cloud, basically. So, whatever. Crippling Cloud. Upgraded Crippling Cloud is no joke. These guys are still just debuffing, which is okay for now, I think. Uh, he's only doing 9, which means it should be relatively easy to get enough defense. So, I mean, this would just alone would do it, but my regular attacks would too. Let's do this to draw the cards, because again, bullet time is still pretty nice, even though we're not in as good a bullet time any place. No, that's fine. We'll just kill everything. Whatever. Oh, right. You draw stuff for killing. Discard Tactician. More, more energy. Discard the Nightmare, because we want to keep the dazes in our hands so they go away. Hey, bullet time. A little late there, but that's okay. We did fine. Um, escape plan? Nah. Enlightening bullet time. This is a sad, sad bullet time. 
Basically nothing. Did we even bother to corpse explosion him? Oh, he's going to hit us for a ton of damage. I underestimated how incredibly bad our hand is. Holy crap. Getting a random skill is probably not going to save me from that. Oh my god, I'm going to get hit for a lot of damage that I don't want. But still, like, he's taking 6 per turn. This is just going to deal 12 damage to him, and then I'll still have to kill him next turn. Yeah, I guess we'll do it, and he'll... Yeah. We did get into Tory range. So. Okay, so it wasn't bad. Um, just got the burn, thank you. Um... It, it, no, we're, we're just killing him, it doesn't matter. 300 gold, there are no shops left. That's friggin' useless relic that I fought for there. Lost a couple hit points. Finisher, quick set. None of these are really helping me out that much, I don't think. Some of them would do good damage sometimes, but I don't. it's not what I need. We don't need to rest. We do need to smith. We're going to have very few max H points when we get to the end. What are we upgrading? Free Madness is a lot better than a non-free Madness, that's for sure. This is just four cards. This is just more defense. A thousand cuts does cut more. Use the Wraith form at all in the boss fights. Maybe the Tactician... I mean, I'm often getting to discard the Tactician. I don't know if that's worth my rare, like, upgrade. Let's do a thousand cuts, whatever. Twice as money cuts. Two thousand cuts. Oh, this is not going to be a good one. I have a suspicion he's going to kill me. He's a really bad fight for me. Unless I get my own intangibility, and even then, that only lasts for three turns, and a lot of the turns you can't attack him. Oh, god damn it. Oh, this is so bad. I do have a block potion. It's the first round, so we still have all my defense. But... I don't have anything to do a redraw at all. I guess I get the thousand cuts going, which means I probably should have played it before that. Oh, man. Because I don't even want to block potion this round. He's going to have bigger attacks coming in, and i got to make sure that I can get them down to Tory range or stop them. Some of this will get Tory, presumably. A thousand cuts would be nice to have out because it's doing more damage. It's doing damage to him while he's intangible. But I think I need to play more cards. Well, we're going to slice him. I need to play more cards to get more defense. Oh god damn it! I could a thousand. If I was going to thousand cuts, I'd do it first. No, I'm going to play these and just get more defense. I think. Oh yay! Plus one to my dex. Yeah, because that got me to Tory range. I still took a bunch of damage I didn't want. Now he's intangible. He's still hitting like a bastard. Do I want a Master of Strategy now when I can't really do most of this stuff? I don't think so. It's exhausting when I use it. So let's prepare and see if I can get anything that will help me. See, like, bullet timing right now, not the ideal because... Bad. It's not even going to help me defend myself, really. I mean, I could master strategy and then try and bolt them, but most of my stuff is going to be attacks. They're only going to hit him for like one. I guess I'm still poisoning him with stuff, but not that much. It would let me get more defense, is the thing. Uh, I guess I waste my master strategy and bullet time. Discard that. And the Sucker Punch will be good, actually. Okay. Let's that. It'll do more damage later. Master Strategy. That would let me Wraith Form. Escape Plan. There's the Envenom. Okay, that'll help. Alright. That's, that's all the card drawing we can do. Let's uh, bullet time. Weaken him. No, I'm supposed to invent him first. Duh. Terror. Duh. We'll help on the non-intangible rounds. Some more poison. Uh, poison. 
And then, are we going to kill him fast enough for Wraith Form to be helping more than it hurts? I don't know. Most of our armor doesn't come from blocking cards anyway, so... Fine. Wow! I mean, free backflip is good, I guess, but this is a terrible ass hand. Uh, if I backflip, I'm not going to be able to free Madness. I mean, Madness can't hit the X. It can't hit zeros. If it hits the Bouncing Flask, it's amazing. I guess if it hits the backflip, it's not the end of the world. But I'm not going to have any energy left to do stuff. That backflip. Damn it. Give me that piece of crap. Here's a card to discard. Well, Tactician would be a good choice. Okay, so we can Enlightenment. We want to Dagger Throw him first. Try and Enlighten something more expensive, potentially. I could Nightmare the... With Enlightenment, I could Nightmare the Crippling Cloud. And this is reducing the cost of the card for the combat. So that should be a permanent cost reduction on the card I'm copying, right? All right, let's dagger throw first anyway. Um, one, two, three. Still be, alchemizing is still pretty good. Let's see what we get. Bouncing flask. Okay, sorry, alchemize. Enlightenment. Um, we don't need to weaken him forever because the bouncing flasks will murder him pretty fast. So we're going to Nightmare Bouncing Flask. Bouncing Flask. And Ripple by. Pointless redraw from the top. He's trying to burn me, which is kind of annoying through my intangibility. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just going to be... Oh my god, he's going to do a million damage. Hold on, I'm not going to be able to poison him enough to actually kill him. This is really bad. i got to sucker punch him. And, and probably block potion just to survive. Well, whatever it is, we're not going to need the dagger spray. Didn't do anything for me. Okay, so these are each giving him 16 stacks of poison. Because they're, they're upgraded. So, 16 times 3... 30 plus 18, 48, 49, 79. Yeah, to kill him in two turns is not going to stop him from hurting my ass now. So we definitely have to sucker punch him instead. And frankly, he's hitting... Oh, that was all... That's already weakened? Oh my god. Um, This is block potion, eh? Okay. Block potion. And we're just going to take a whole bunch more damage than we want. I could also skill potion and get a random skill, which will at least block one more damage. Maybe it gives us defense? Let's do that. That's hilarious. But probably not what I need. Uh, oh no, that is with, uh, like, six from the thing. Okay. Yeah, so he's dead in like two turns, but this hurts a lot. That does not get Tori. Those, that's real damage. I'm going to have to heal now before the boss. Uh, he is already dead, so it doesn't really matter what I do. Wait, the intangible eats the poison damage? What the hell? Okay, I apparently could have played that smarter because I didn't realize he wasn't going to die. Now he's going to die, though. Or, in fact, we're going to corpse explosion him because, holy shit, that was, like, terrible. Art of War, we could maybe take advantage of that. It's kind of late. The Anchor is nice. Ancient Potion, uh, better than no potion. And we don't need any of those. That was a terrible fight, and we're going to have to rest when we get to the end. Actually, we're going to get... 14 health from this number. I think we're still going to have to rest. This is not good. Nothing is good. We're going to have too few hit points to possibly survive against the boss. There's just not enough defense in here. Maybe should have kept the other after image. Probably, but... Yeah, it's hard to... Okay. 
that good. Oh, yeah, if we drew the bullet time right now, we wouldn't be able to use it anyway. So we maybe shouldn't go nuts with the card drawing. Free madness, what do you do? Free corpse explosion. That is not friggin' useful. That is not what I wanted to have happen, actually. Damn it. I shouldn't have gone with the madness plan. I should have just played the cards I wanted. Stupid madness. Okay, because this guy's got to die in two turns. Um, and now they're all hitting me for a lot of damage, and I'm going to actually die. Because I didn't get defense. Wow. That so sucks. No, I'm actually going to die right here. That's not going to save me. Let's play it. God damn it. 629, I suck. Ugh. I took too much damage in an intangible fight. Ironically, the round where I didn't pay any attention because I thought I'd done it and I was wrong wasn't actually the problem. I took maybe one damage that round. The problem was that I just couldn't, I didn't have enough burst defense at all to deal with situations. Like a guy hitting for 30 while already weakened. So, I, know, I did my best, but uh, somehow, even though the routes are all fixed, top scores are still twice what I had. I mean, I probably would have only had like 800 or 9. 900 would have been pretty high if I had beaten the boss. And I don't know if I would have gotten even that. So, yeah. That was an interesting one, though. I wonder how it, how people's experiences differ, considering all the things in that run, like a fixed starting deck and the fixed route, to sort of force everyone towards being the same. Anyway, yeah, we'll just have to see what, I, what else I can do next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.